Welcome to Unit 9, Circles. Today we are going to start by finding arc measures in circles. Let's start with some vocabulary. Uh, first of all, here is a picture of a circle, and this is how you say it. So if you ever see this symbol, this symbol says the measure of arc AB. So we're talking about measures of arcs here. So when you see that symbol, that's how you would say it out loud or in your head. Okay, let's start with our first vocabulary word, a central angle. The angle formed when two rays meet at the center of the circle. So an example in this picture of a central angle would be that angle C right there. Okay, a minor arc is an arc whose measure is less than 180 degrees. It's usually out of a circle the smaller of the two arcs. So an example of a minor arc in this circle would be arc AB. A major arc is an arc whose measure is greater than 180 degrees which is usually the bigger arc. So a greater arc in this circle would be arc ADC. So we go the opposite way all the way around the circle. And a semicircle is an arc whose measure is 180 degrees. So semicircle meaning half of a circle. So in this picture a semicircle would cut through the diameter and split the circle into 180 degrees. The measure of a minor arc is the measure of the central angle. Here's some facts about measuring arcs. The measure of the entire circle is 360 degrees. The measure of the major arc is the difference between 360 degrees and the measure related to the minor arc. And the measure of a semicircle is half of a circle, which would be 180 degrees. Okay, in the arc addition postulate, the measure of an arc formed by two adjacent arcs is the sum of the measure of the two arcs. So in the circle to the right, we have the measure of arc AB, that's a minor arc, plus the measure of arc BC is equal to the measure of the whole entire arc if you combine them, which would be the measure of arc ABC. Okay, let's do an example of the arc addition postulate. You may join a new bank and divide your money several ways as shown in the circle. Find the indicated arc measure. So starting with the measure of arc BD. Okay, so looking at your circle, there's two ways that you could possibly get to BD. You can get to BD by starting at B and going around to the left, passing A and getting to D. You can also get to BD by starting at B and going to the right, passing C and get to D. Now the difference is, is that the measure of BD only uses two letters. When you have two letters versus three letters indicating the measure of the arc, then that represents the minor arc. So in this case, we're going to use from B to A to D because that is smaller than from B to C to D. So we use the minor arc of the two. So the measure of arc uh, BD is going to be the sum of its parts. So if we add the measure of BA plus the measure of AD, then we will get the measure of our total arc. The measure of BA is 55 degrees plus the measure of AD is 105 degrees, so the measure of arc BD total is 160 degrees. Now moving on to the measure of arc BCD. Now BCD has three letters. When it has three letters, then you choose the bigger of the two arcs. So we go around to the right where it's represented by the bigger arc. So the measure of arc BCD is the measure of arc BC plus 
the measure of arc CD, which is equal to the measure of arc BCD. So the measure of BC is 140 degrees, plus the measure of CD is 60 degrees, so 140 plus 60 is 200 degrees for the measure of arc BCD. Okay, a little bit more vocabulary. Congruent circles are circles that have the same radii. And congruent arcs are arcs in the same or congruent circles that have equal measures. So congruent circles have the same radii and congruent arcs are in the same congruent circle that have equal measures. So let's take a look at a couple examples. Are, tell whether the arcs are congruent. Explain why or why not. So is arc FG congruent to arc HG? Yes. Both arcs measure 90 degrees and both circles are congruent. Now we know that both circles are congruent because they have the exact same radii. You can tell right there that the radii are congruent. So that means that those are congruent circles. Therefore, those arcs have the same measure and are congruent. Let's check out the next example. Arc AB which is on the inner circle, and arc CD, which is on the outer circle. Are these congruent? No. Both arcs measure 80 degrees, but the two circles are not congruent because they have non-equal radii. You can see that the distance from B of this first circle is a little bit shorter than the radii that extends all the way to D. Therefore, those circles are not congruent.